Um, now this is Jason, and Jason is a student in our um, school for feline development. Real big energy right now. Okay, this is Jason, the student we've been talking to. Hi Jason, it's me, Michael. How are you? Jason, did you notice I'd turn the heater on? Jason, did you notice I'd turn the heater on? I was wondering how you felt about going and sitting by the heater for a while and warming up. Does that sound like something you'd like? I just don't think he's really digesting this right now. Yeah. His head seems to well, be out Jason, of space completely. Well, Jason, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go sit by the heater because that's what I choose to do right now, and you're welcome to come and join me, okay? And if you want to come by later and sit by it by yourself, that's okay too, all right? How does, how does that sound? Does that sound good? Okay. Well, I think that one of the most powerful experiences I've had with this... Um, movement was my first day here they do sort of this introduction exercise and you come in and you sit down and they know your names already and they say so they look um, they looked at me and they said hello Michael it's time for you to go outside now Michael and then when we when you come in we put a bowl of your food on the floor that you can eat okay because it's time for you to eat now Michael Jason I was wondering how you how you would feel about coming having a seat with me by the heater so you could get warm. When you when you really start to notice these these times that the cat is speaking for itself and and making its own life choices, you're you're gonna see that it's not as convenient as you'd hoped it would be. Jason, I, I you know I I respect the uh, environment you're creating for yourself right now, but I would really appreciate it if you could come out so we could talk. You might be wanting to have a dinner party and all your guests have sat down and you're into the second course and then the cat will request to go outside and we feel that at this point um, it, it's not, you can't just let the cat out. The cat's sort of brimming with, with independent energy and so, you know, if you're at that dinner party, you need to, to say to your guests, hey, you know, we're going to go and we're going to eat outside now with our, with our friend. Um, or just throw all your food in the trash, because really this isn't about you, this is about the cat and respecting his choices and his independence. Jason, I know that you're not trying to be disrespectful right now, but it's that's really how it's making Jason. <laughs> appreciate it if you could come back. I'd appreciate it if you'd come back. I'm gonna invite you to come back and speak to me and I'd like you to make a responsible choice. Jason. Okay. Okay, I like this, um, but I, I have to ask, is this the area that you use for interaction time? Um, yes, yes it is. Okay, it is? Okay, um, alright, we're def- we're gonna have to talk about that, but, um, I'm just, you know, I know this is sort of a new- a new thing, so don't worry about it, you know, we're gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, okay, I like what you're trying to do with this, um, but I just- what is- what is it- does it feel like to you that this is saying about- your opinion of, of pets. Um, we, we love cats here. Well, does it feel like, does it feel like by, by the way this, this, per, per their, their species? Uh, I, well, I just thought it was cute. Okay, well, okay. I don't know if you can see this so well, but this is one of our uh, cat toys, or as we call them, um, play facilitating equipment. Uh, we like to, to do what we call freeform equipment, so for example, a box or a paper bag is not something uh, we want to give to our cats that's much too suggestive. You know, it has a very specific uh, way to use it, and we don't like to limit them like that. Well, and the, what I do is I just collect little bits and pieces of things, and I present them in a thoughtful way to the cat. And, uh, you know, it's not always a great success. Sometimes he just poo-poo's everything I put out there. He, he shoves the little bits of crayons and, and wood chips that I provided for him away. But sometimes he creates something really special. Uh, I'm sorry, I noticed someone had moved this again to the back porch and just, no, we are not doing this again. I'm, I'm done. You're the cat. You're, You're the, the cat. cat. You're, You're the, the cat. cat. You're, You're the, the cat. cat. Meow. 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 Make those sacrifices and come to grips with, you know, the idea that that um, this is about Jason now, the freedoms and the choices that we've enjoyed through most of our lives. You know, we have to 
to give the cats this chance also, you know, and and sort of put our lives on hold and say, okay, this is about that. It's making a sacrifice. Yeah. It's, it's making a sacrifice, really, and it's and it's putting it's putting someone else. That's I, I, it's the sack um, method, which is <laughs> sacrifice and caring kindness, caring kindness, um, which has really been sort of instrumental in our emergent uh, feline curriculum that we're developing. That's been that's developed, and we're just working on perfecting it and refining. And he's been he's been in just kind of a way lately. I'm trying not to do what I'm trying not to do is project my stress onto Jason. I just feel that um, you know he's he's not he's not being cooperative. He's not understanding me. Well, you know I feel like I don't know if that's it as much as we're not understanding him. You know I'm not. I'm not trying to point fingers, but I do notice that when you call his name, um, the tone in your voice, you know, it really sort of speaks to me of the way, you know, we like to talk to, I'm not going to say the A word, animals, but that's, you know, that's sort of the whole um, interaction we're trying to avoid here, you know, this isn't, we're not above them, you know, we're just all trying to learn together. You know, and right now he's sort of the teacher. You now that's saying cats are naturally hunters. Not only is it is it xenophobic, um, but it's just not true. You know, that's like saying you know dogs are naturally killers. You know, humans are naturally uh, abusive racists. I mean, it's just not true, and it's the last, the last kind of assumption that we want to um, employ around here. Um, but we are an all vegetarian institute, and. You know, if if the cat truly wants to kill other animals for sustenance, it can go somewhere else. And I mean, yesterday he took a shit on my floor, and I sat him down um, and just calmly explained that you know floors aren't for shitting, and asked him what was going through his mind when he did this, and he he just had nothing to say. I mean, I, I really am not even sure he thought about it. Come on, come on, Jesus. Come on. Jason, how do you feel about coming and sitting by the heater? Does that sound like something you'd, you'd enjoy? Does it? Could you tell I'm me? I'm going to sit by the heater and you're welcome to join me. <laughs>